community organizing uh, as such has at its heart really uh, engaging people in the political and the democratic process in a way that they had not felt they knew how to do, right? So low-income young people are typically not going to City Hall, speaking out at public hearings and meeting with their elected officials because they feel like there's a, such a huge gulf between them and that world and they're not paying attention to it. So it's part of the leadership development to say, you know, you, your voice can be heard, here's how to do it. You know, and so together we do that. We continue to do that um, at the state and national level. So, you know, when you succeed, because suddenly there's young people rising up to be heard in a respectful way with a lot to say. So then we replicated the program in New York City, and then people began to come from around the country and say, how did you do this? We want to do the same thing in our community. So around 1988, we formed a national coalition.